Hello, my name is Thomas. Welcome to this AppRater Academy session with the topic App Retention Rate. The App Retention Rate is referring to those users which are coming back on a regular basis to check out your app after they initially downloaded it. Why is this important? For you as an app business owner or as an app marketer, once you are spending money on user acquisition, which means this brings you in new users to your app, you want to retain those users for which you have been spending money to actually get it to use your app. The app retention rate can be measured into different kind of categories. Kind of the industry standard is that you're checking out your app retention rate on day one, day seven, day 30. And then you can go also for longer durations, like for example, the day 180 retention rate, if you're having an app which has a high potential of users checking it out more often. So when we talk about the retention rate, it is also important to check out how the retention rate is being calculated. The retention rate is the amount of installs which you are generating within a specific time frame, so let's say for example the last 30 days, divided by the active users which you had exactly in the same time frame, so in this example also the last 30 days for example. When you do this calculation, then you find out the retention rate for the last 30 days. On the other hand, when talking about the retention rate, it is also important to understand that there is a churn rate. The churn rate is quite the opposite of the retention rate. The retention rate itself gives you feedback on how many people are coming back to your app, how many users are coming back to your app and keep using it on a regular basis. On the other hand, the churn rate is giving you feedback of how many users are you losing over a specific time frame. So let's talk about strategies that you can use to boost the retention rate of your app. First of all, it is important that you attract the right users. Why is this important? Over here at AppRadar we are talking a lot about the topic of app store optimization. The reason for this is simple, because you want to have your app described as good as possible within the app store to attract potential users which are looking for an app like yours. It is very important that you don't oversell within the App Store because once people are checking out your app and downloading it, when you're giving them force projections what they can achieve with your app and if you cannot compile or if you cannot deliver on your promise that you're making for your users out there, the end will be that they will be deleting your app and you will have a high churn rate. So therefore, it is important that you attract the right users out there, giving them the right information what your app is about and also making them curious to check it out. The next strategy is, once you're attracting the right users, which have a quite an understanding what they're going to receive once they download your app, you want to make sure that they understand your app. This is the topic of onboarding. Put yourself into the shoes of new users. They are seeing your app for the first time. So it is important that they understand what they can achieve with your app and it is even more important that they understand how they can use your app. So therefore, the onboarding within your app is very crucial. This is the place where you take the user by the hand and guide them through a smooth process in understanding what your app is about, how they can use it, what is the benefit for them and how it can help them achieving their goals. Once you have people understanding the basics of your app and they figured out how to use it, you want to make sure that those people are coming back. And this is simply put, there is only one thing that you can do and this is you need to have a great product. Why is this important? Once again, put yourself into the shoes of your users out there. If you're coming to the app store, you have a specific problem that you want to have solved. Then you find an app where you hope that this app can help you solving those problems. You download the app, but then for example, the app is broken, it crashes, the onboarding is too complicated, you don't understand what you should do, you don't see how this can really help you solving your problems. 
chances will be that you're simply going to delete this app and this is why we have we can see high churn rates what you can do to tackle this is really to focus on your product to focus on your app to talk with your users and ask them hey what do you like the most about our app what are the biggest challenges that you're having out there how do we actually help you solving those problems the more feedback you can get from your users out there on the one hand by talking to them but also on the other hand by analyzing product numbers usage numbers like exactly the retention rate you can get feedback if there is something that keeps your users coming back or in other words if there is something that they really like to get feedback of your app also checking out the reviews is a really good source to get started with an app radar we built very handy features which can make this process very easy for you to identify feedback of your users and try to understand what they like the most on the other hand app radar also gives you feedback in terms of showing the uninstall rates as well as the crash rates as you can imagine those two are very often linked to each others what do i mean by this quite simply put if your app is crashing when people want to open it what will be the logical consequence after some time people will be uninstalling your app because they think the product is broken it's not working why should i keep it on my phone so therefore always keep an eye on the app reviews as well as on the uninstall rates as well as on the crash rates which will give you a good understanding of how well is your product performing last but not least if you're doing the first three points good so you're attracting the right users they understand how to use your app they like your app this still doesn't mean that you will have a 100 percent retention rate why because nowadays we're getting so many signals out there in our digital world we're getting ads all over the place and our attention span is getting lower and lower and lower again which means that you somehow have to find strategies which help you keep your users coming back strategies for this are on the one hand for example push notifications you can use push notifications to send your customers to send your users friendly reminders to open up your app again but please be aware to be not too pushy because i also think putting yourself once again into the shoes of your users if you're getting too many push notifications from an app where you don't think okay this really makes sense this doesn't make sense to me i don't see any value in this why i am receiving this push notification now chances are once again that you're going to uninstall this app and not going to use it anymore in the future so therefore when sending out push notifications be sure that those push notifications are also delivering value to your users it is also important to think about ad strategies with the goal of bringing users back to your app so besides attracting new users you could also set up ad campaigns which are bringing users back to your app the reason is also quite simple once again we have a very short attention span so we it could be that we install an app today but probably we have already forgotten tomorrow that we installed this app today so therefore ad strategies with the goal of bringing users back to your app might be also a good tactics for you to boost the retention rate of your app so to sum it up in today's lesson we have been talking about the app retention rate simply put because you're investing money to attract users to your app that they download it and they use it what you want to do is that those users are coming back because then you don't have to acquire them as new users so to say because then they are returning users so also be sure to check out our other videos within the app radar academy so you can learn even more how to improve your app business and don't forget to create an app radar account if you haven't done it yet because app radar can really help you identifying bottlenecks within the growth journey of your app to make it even more successful so you can become the next app superstar mm -hmm.